Joe, you looked into some of these efforts, how scientists are actually trying to enhance the snow through cloud seeding. Yeah, that's really interesting, Callie. So Colorado, we've been a leader in something called cloud seeding, where we're actually using science to help enhance natural snowfall and strengthen our water supply downstream. Did you know that Colorado has been modifying its weather dating all the way back to the 1950s? It's called cloud seeding and it's a process that helps storms produce a little more snow. A minute amount of silver iodide solution is sprayed across a propane flame that is vaporized. It's carried up into the cloud and then the ice crystals grow big enough to fall out as snow or rain. Colorado currently has seven active seeding projects with an eighth warmer weather program on the way in Weld County. With our geography and mountain ranges, we just have the perfect area to cloud seed because with these ground-based generators, you really need that orographic lift that you get from the cloud to get the solution up into the cloud base where it's needed. Each seeded storm can add roughly 8 to 12% more snowfall per event. That's extra runoff feeding rivers like the Colorado and Gunnison, which is critical for the downstream states. It's not going to solve all of Colorado's drought problems. This is the only way to actually add physical water to a basin. The Colorado Water Conservation Board monitors avalanche risk and snowpack constantly. They'll suspend cloud seeding when levels run high or conditions will become dangerous. You know, if a storm's coming through and it's going to be efficient enough on its own, we won't seed that to, you know, to avoid avalanche dangers, thunderstorms, flooding, all that stuff. Colorado is also studying new sites in the Arkansas and Yampa River basins, hoping to make every flake count in a changing climate.